Postural drainage is an airway clearance technique that uses the effect of gravity to clear secretions from different segments of the lungs. As posterior drainage is using the effect of gravity, the affected part of the lungs need to be positioned at a higher point of the body in order for secretion to move. The patient should stay in each position for 10 to 15 minutes for most effective treatment. Posterior drainage is combined with techniques like chest wall vibrations and forced expiration techniques to achieve better efficiency. Do not perform it with a full stomach. The patient should only do it before a meal or at least one to one and a half hours after a meal. Do not perform it if the patient has or developed any of the following symptoms. Gastroesophageal reflux or acid reflux. Nausea. Significant increase in breathlessness. Fresh blood in your secretions. Recent rib, spine or muscle injury. Wheeze that is caused by bronchospasm. In the following demonstrations, refer to the highlighted parts in the diagram for the targeted lung portion. Position 1 is for secretion at the front and top of both lungs. Sit up in bed. Position 2 is for secretion at the back and top of both lungs. Sit up in bed. Lean forward onto two pillows. Position 3 is for secretion at the front upper portion of both lungs. Lie facing up with a pillow under your knees for comfort. Position 4 is for secretion at the upper back portion of right lungs. Lie on left side with knees bent. Place one pillow under the chest. Rotate body slightly forward. Position 5 is for secretion at the upper back portion of left lungs. Lie on the right side with knees bent. Place one pillow under the chest. Rotate body slightly forward. Elevate head of bed. Position 6 is for secretion at the middle right lungs. Lie on the left side with knees bent. Place one pillow behind the back. Rotate body slightly backwards. Elevate the foot of bed 15 degrees. Position 7 is for secretion at the middle left lungs. Lie on the right side with knees bent. Place one pillow behind the back. Rotate body slightly backward. Elevate the foot of bed 15 degrees. Position 8 is for secretion at the front lower portion of both lungs. Lie facing up with the pillow under the knees for comfort. Elevate the foot of bed 20 degrees. Position 9 is for secretion at the back portion of both lungs. Lie facing down with one pillow under abdomen. Position 10 is for secretion in the lower back portion of both lungs. Lie facing down Elevate the foot of bed 20 degrees. Position 11 is for the lower back portion of the right lungs. Lie on the left side with knees bent. Place a pillow under chest. Rotate body slightly forward. Elevate the foot of bed 20 degrees. Position 12 is for the lower back portion of the left lungs. Lie on the right side with knees bent. Place a pillow under chest. 
Rotate the body slightly forward. Forced expiratory techniques. Huffing involves taking a breath in and actively exhaling with your mouth and throat opened. It is as if you are misting up a mirror. Perform it two or three times before coughing. Coughing is key in clearing secretions in airways. It involves taking a breath in and forcefully exhaling with your mouth and throat open. Chest wall vibrations. Chest wall vibrations involve the application of fine oscillatory movements combined with chest wall compressions. Initiated at the end of inspiration and applied throughout expiration. The chest wall vibrations move secretions towards the larger airways for removal. You may put a layer of towel over the chest wall area for comfort. Technique 1. With one hand over the other, place hands firmly on the chest wall over the part of the lung that needs to be drained. Press the top and bottom hands into each other. Instruct the patient to breathe in and breathe out. As patient breathes out, tense the muscles of your arms and shoulders and apply a light vibrating pressure in an inward and downward direction. Instruct patient to cough or half forcefully if the patient feels that secretions are in his breath. <coughs> Technique 2. Place your hands side by side, firmly on the chest wall, over the part of the lung that needs to be drained. 